What up, y'all? It is DJ Barbecue on the rooftop of the Surf Experience here in Lagos, Portugal. And we're cooking up for you the first dish I ever had when I arrived in Portugal. Portuguese pork and clams. It is beautiful. It's hearty food. Pork, clams, potatoes, beautiful flavors. And it all starts with the marinade. In this bowl, we've got red chili paste, paprika, salt, pepper, and now we're gonna add all the other goodness, including garlic. Throw that in the bowl. There's our spices. They go in the bowl. Now, some coriander. Nicely washed coriander. White wine. There's our vino. So there's the marinade for the pork. Now, it's very essential this pork needs to marinate for 24 hours. Luckily for us, we have Rachel. Wave, Rachel. Rachel is the chef here at the Surf Experience. She was super kind, thank you, Rachel, to prepare a marinade earlier. So Rachel's a big fan, pan, fan, fan of pans. Pan of pans. <laughs> we need five onions finely chopped. Oh, I implore you, when you come down here, please, Go crazy on the food, man. Embrace the produce. So we've got most of these onions ready. So we're gonna slather the base of this pan with olive oil. There we go. We need to drain the marinade off the pork. But we wanna <laughs> keep that marinade. Can't take you anywhere, can I? It's okay, don't you worry. This is all vital later on in the process. Get in there. Ah, hot oil on the leg. That didn't hurt a little bit. Ah. <laughs> All right, the pork is now browned off, so we're gonna move it to the illegal side of the pan. It's like, you know, when you've got milk and you're opening it up, and for some reason, this part that says open here doesn't work. You have to go to the illegal side. And it just, it just gets all ma magulated. That's called lactomagulation. Five onions. The onions are in the pan. They need about 10 minutes to soften up. And then we're on to the next step. So the onions have had about 10 to 15 minutes to soften up. So then now it's the turn of the marinade to come back into the pan. Get in there. Oh yeah. So now we're gonna stir all this up and let these ingredients party for a good hour. Probably an hour and 15 minutes where we're doing a lot of food here. The pork's had a good hour in the pan. In that time, I poured myself a little glass of muscatel, which is a lovely kind of local, uh, almost like a port. It's now the turn of the clams. Can you please pass me the clams, Rachel? Okay, look at this. Big old bowl of clams. They've all been cleaned and now they go into the cauldron of awesome tacular nest. Nest, 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 nest. All right, so the clams go in. The bowl almost went in as well. Maybe too much muscatel. So now I'm gonna get them all in there. So they open up. They need about 10 minutes of that hot liquid heat. And now we've got the patatas, the potatoes. So they go on top. So we're gonna take half of this pan and we're gonna throw it in there, into the mix. Get in there, patatas. Oh yeah. We've had some potatoes roasting in the oven. Stir them in amongst the pork. Oh, they're all in a big mosh pit. It's a circle pit of awesomeness, man. And there's a dude in there. He's got a double Mohican. And he's coming in with elbows. He's taking out the clam with the full-on carnage, man. It's awesome. We're now going to add the rest of the patatas, the potatoes. They go on top. Whew. So you get on there. Boom. Potatoes. Woo, it's raining patatas. The clams are all opening up which means it's time for the final ingredient, and that is cuentros, and that is coriander. So, finally chopped coriander all on top. It's raining cuentros. The dish is ready. Who's hungry? Yeah! Yeah, all right.
right, all right. So, big old spoonfuls. And then to finish it all off, you've got these pickled cauliflower carrots. And you just kind of throw a couple of them on top. And there you go. Carne de porca. I, I, I let the... <laughs> Carne de porca, shut up! Church dudes! Trying to like serve up some carne de porca a la lenteja. Vai pro caralho, a foto boca toda, vai foder, a foda, sabe para feion. And there you go, man. Carne de porca a la lenteja. Carne de porca a la lenteja. <laughs> all right, now it's time to taste all our hard work. Ma mainly these Rachel's, because she, uh, she did all the marinating for me. Oh man, that was good. That was phenomenal. Listen, I'm DJ Barbecue. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. There's buttons here for everything, man. We are free to subscribe, all things rad. Thank you so much for watching. Who wants some food? Yeah! Epa! Woo! So we've hooked up with Sophie from Sophie's Steakhouse to talk meat. So the next one here is the Brit Dog. Brit Dog. The Queen's Dog. Here we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. 